Hey everybody, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Alicia, I am a craft producer here with Makers Gonna Learn, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys something really cool. I wanna take you guys through a couple different ways to upload, unzip, and install your font using the Mac, using an iPad, as well as the laptop, and using a PC. Let's go ahead and jump into the MacBook. So once you're logged in to your MacBook, we're just gonna go ahead and visit the Makers Gonna Learn website. It's just makersgonnalearn.com. Um, if you are new here, the Makers Gonna Learn is a crafting community. We're a membership-based subscription service, and we offer thousands of cut files and tons of fonts every single month, brand new, and you all have unlimited access to those when you're a member. So what I'm gonna do is kind of scroll down and we're just gonna pick any random font. I'm gonna go ahead and select Century. And so you can click on the photo and it's just gonna bring you to this main page. You can select the little cloud icon with the arrow. This is gonna pull up the downloadable zip file. So right here is our zip file. I'm gonna click on that. And then once you click on it, it's gonna open up right here. If for some reason you click on it and you can't find it, you can go to the finder and actually search in the name of the font. So uh, let me just show you guys how you can do that. That way, if you can't find where it went to after you downloaded it, you'll be able to find it on your own. To click on the finder, you can either go down here to the bottom and select the finder, or you can select command spacebar, and it's just gonna pop it up right there. And we know the name of the font is Century, and you can see right here is the zip file. And then we've got this right here. And what you'll do, if it comes in and it's unzipped, you can go ahead and select the font, and you're gonna select install font, and then we're gonna go over to Design Space. And what you'll need to do, if you've already had Design Space opened, you're gonna need to reload Design Space. If you're in the middle of a project, make sure you save your project and then reload. So you just go View, Reload. And then we're gonna click on the text box and you can come up here to the font drop down menu and you can type in Century and our font should be right here. And there you go, easy peasy. Okay, I want to show you all what you would do if you downloaded a font and it came in a zip file. And you'll know it's a zip file because it'll have the name of the font and then it'll have a period and it'll say zip. Um, a zip file is just a compressed file. It's easier to move around. It takes up less storage space. It basically compresses the file so it's a little bit smaller um, and then whenever you install it, you're just gonna unzip it by clicking on it. So you'll click on that and then it'll pull you down to where the font is and you'll just repeat the process that we went through where you install the font and then you can go into design space, make sure you reload after you've saved your project and your font should be right in there. Now that I've shown you all how to upload your fonts into the MacBook, I wanna show you how to do it on your iPad. It's super easy. You are gonna need an app for the iPad. It's called iFont, and I'm gonna link that below for you all so you can use it. Um, but let's go ahead and hop onto the iPad and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install fonts and use them in Design Space. Okay, so once your iPad is unlocked, we're gonna go to the Makers Gonna Learn website. I'm going to go to our fonts tab and select a font to download. Let's just scroll down here. I'm gonna select Elizabethan. I'm just gonna download it. You're gonna get a little box that says, do you wanna download Elizabethan zip? I'm gonna select download. And then right up here in the top right, there's a little down arrow and it'll kind of light up or bounce. And you can see the font name right here, Elizabethan. And I had already downloaded a font previously, so this is the screen that pops up. I'm just gonna go off of that by selecting Done. And then the font that I just downloaded, Elizabethan, is right here. I'm gonna select it. And then it pulls it into like a different area. So most of this is in alphabetical order. So if you're like, whoa, where did my font go? Just kind of check in alphabetical order. Um, so there's Elizabethan right here. And then what we're gonna do is 
go off of this, we're gonna go to the iFont app. So this is the iFont app. You can find this in your app store. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like if you searched it. It's I-F-O-N-T, select search. And then this is our app that we're gonna be using right here. I'm gonna select open. Once you've downloaded the iFont app, this is gonna be your home screen when you open the app. You're gonna see a lots of different options over here. The main one that we need is this open files. If you download any fonts from the Makers Gonna Learn website, they're gonna to go to this open files area. Um, there's a couple other font websites that you'll see listed if you've downloaded fonts um, previously. Um, they'll automatically kind of pop into the font finder. Uh, but what we want to do is select open files and we're going to find our Elizabethan font in our recents. So I'm just going to select this zip file and then it'll pop up right here. It'll say open zip archive and I'm going to import. And then if for some reason you're over in the in groups area and you don't see your font, select all and then it'll be right there. And I'm going to just go ahead and select install and then just follow the prompts so this one says this website's trying to download a configuration profile do you want to allow this i'm going to allow it and then it's going to say profile downloaded and it says review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it we do want to install it so i'm going to go to the settings close that out i'm just going to go to my settings right here it's going to say profile downloaded i'm going to select that and you can see Elizabeth and regular, that's the font that we want to install. There's an install option right here. I'm going to select that and I'm going to put in my passcode. And then we're going to select install again, install profile, and you're going to select install again, and then you're done. And then what we're going to do to make sure that it's totally installed onto our device is go into Cricut Design Space. And I am going to select text. And let's go to Elizabethan, there it is. And you can type in using your font and that's it. Now that we've done all of the Apple products, those were super easy. I wanted to show all of my PC users how you all can easily upload your fonts into Design Space. It's equally as easy as doing it on a MacBook, so don't fret. Um, but let's go ahead and hop on over to our PC and get started. Now that we're in our PC, I'm gonna to go to the fonts tab and we're just gonna select any of our fonts. You can come down here and download any of these. Let's do Duffy, very cute. I'm just gonna select the little cloud icon. You can select the picture and then go into the file if you want to. Um, but you can see down here, it pulled it into a zip file. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and it's gonna open it up. And then I'm going to select Duffy. I'm just double clicking it and then you can select install. And then once you've done that, we're going to go to design space and you may need to reload your design space just like we did on the Mac. You're just going to select view reload. If you're working on a project, make sure you save your project first. I always say save your project before you do anything else. And then I'm just going to pull a text box in. And then our font drop down menu, it should be right in here. You can just search Duffy. There it is. And you can make this bigger and do whatever you want, but it's easy as that. I hope you all found this tutorial helpful and you were able to pull some information that maybe you hadn't already learned before. Um, but I did want to mention before we go, we are running a special for you guys. It's only $1 and you all have total access to our cut files and fonts on the Makers Gonna Learn website. The way that it works is you're gonna get seven days to download up to 20 cut files or fonts and they're yours forever. If you don't decide to become a member, which I doubt you will, um, it will automatically renew at the end of the seven days and then you'll have full access to all of our cut files and fonts and you can download as many as your heart desires. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss any of our new crafts coming up and make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you know anytime that we post videos to our channel. We cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.